This is Mission Control Houston. We are continuing to watch uh, live television pictures of the Space Shuttle Atlantis stack rolling out to the launch pad for the final mission of the Space Shuttle program, the STS-135 mission of uh, Commander Chris Ferguson, Pilot uh, Doug Hurley, and Mission Specialist Sandy Magnus and Rex Walheim. Uh, we uh, had a motion start out of the vehicle assembly building a little bit later than expected at 7.42 p.m. Central, 8.42 p.m. Eastern due to uh, some work that needed to be done to repair one of the hydraulic systems on the crawler transporter. Uh, based on that, uh, we are estimating that uh, we'll be hard down on the launch pad uh, approximately 2.30 a.m. Central Time, 3.30 a.m. Eastern, about uh, an hour after the Space Shuttle Endeavour is scheduled to have touched down at the nearby Space Shuttle Landing Facility on runway 15. Meanwhile, we're expecting uh, a, uh, an opportunity for reporters to ask questions of the STS 135 crew uh, uh, as uh, Atlantis rolls out in the background. Uh, that uh, time uh, now scheduled for approximately uh, any time now. And we are standing by for that uh, question answer period to kick off at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Meanwhile, here in uh, Houston, as uh, preparations for the Space Shuttle Endeavour's landing uh, move toward the final stages, uh, Entry Flight Director uh, Tony Sakachi and uh, Spacecraft Communicator Butch uh, Wilmore uh, have uh, just uh, tagged up with the uh, Space Flight Meteorology Group forecasters and heard that uh, so far the uh, weather conditions uh, continue to be forecast to be go for a landing on the first opportunity at Kennedy Space Center uh, early in the morning Wednesday. There is a uh, low pressure area that is uh, over the Atlantic Ocean off the southeast coast of the United States that is uh, producing uh, some thunderstorms over the uh, Carolinas. Uh, but uh, based on the tracking of the leading edge of the storm, we don't expect it to reach the Kennedy Space Center's uh, 30 nautical mile circle around the runway until about half an hour after landing, uh, which means that uh, so far the forecast for landing is still good. Uh, winds are expected to be about six knots, uh, peaking to 10 knots with some crosswind component, but uh, pretty much uh, down the runway on runway 15, which is the northwest to, so northwest to southeast runway, uh, the winds uh, out of the northeast, and so uh, looking pretty good for a landing today. We will continue to be tracking uh, this uh, cell of uh, low pressure and uh, the associated thunderstorms with it carefully tonight. The crew on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour uh, getting ready to start uh, its uh, due orbit preparations in about uh, 10 minutes from now. Uh, we're also expecting uh, astronaut C.J. Sterko, who will be flying on the uh, T-38 to take a look at the weather conditions to take off from Kennedy Space Center Shuttle Landing Facility in about 40 minutes to begin assessing the weather. We're about an hour and 25 minutes away from the uh, go-no-go no go for payload bay door closure, uh, which will initiate the uh, final preparations for uh, landing and uh, get the Space Shuttle Endeavour all set up for its final touchdown. The uh, radiator stow uh, for uh, Space Shuttle Endeavour scheduled to begin about 8.41 p.m. Central Time or in about uh, 20 minutes from now. Once that's uh, complete, uh, the crew will begin uh, installing the seats on the uh, uh, aft flight deck uh, where uh, crew members will be sitting for their re-entry and as well as on the uh, mid-deck below. Of course, uh, on the uh, forward flight deck uh, will be uh, Commander Mark Kelly and uh, Pilot uh, Greg Johnson. Uh, sitting behind them will be uh, Roberto Vittori, who is uh, seated uh, directly between the t commander and the pilot. Mike Fink will be sitting to his right. Uh, those folks all be on the uh, top deck. And then on the mid deck uh, will be uh, Drew Foistel and Greg Shamatov, uh, who will be sitting uh, facing the lockers that are in the bulkhead uh, immediately in front of them.
This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, coming up next on NASA TV, uh, an STS 135 uh, crew question and answer with the news media as the Space Shuttle Atlantis uh, rolls out to the launch pad 39A for its final mission into space. We'll be uh